so much. Let's go ahead and bring mm -hmm. Jeff. Now, Jeff, you have been busy just following all of these fires yes. as well as the conditions firefighters are having to deal with. Mm -hmm. uh, what's it like out there right now for them? It, it is definitely very hot. Uh, we're going to, of course, get more information on that fire there in the South Bay, but they are dealing with temperatures here in the mid 90s through our inland valleys of the South Bay. Some low humidity down to about 20 percent. Uh, some on and off occasional gusts 10 to 20 miles per hour. I do not see any major wind as we head through the next 24 hours and hopefully that will enable firefighters to again get a quick handle on it. We've got more coverage at NBCBayArea.com and you can see as we roll through tonight it's going to be a slow cool off for us. We're in the 80s here at 7 p.m. eventually dropping to the 70s here at 8, 9 and also 10 o'clock. OK, let's go ahead and set it up as we roll into your Saturday morning forecast. Sounds good, right? We've been working all week long to get to it and you can see as we started off tomorrow morning, we have fog at the coastline, some patchy areas of fog through the North Bay, East Bay right there for the South Bay. Chances some drizzle near the coast as we head through the afternoon. Our sunshine is back for us uh, away from the coast. So I think overall we're setting ourselves up pretty good here as we move through our Saturday forecast. Temperatures are going to start off on the chilly side with the fog near the coast. That'll bring us to 57 in the peninsula. South Bay 59 over to San Francisco. I have you at 55. North Bay 54 and the East Bay coming in at 62. Now we're still going to have some isolated heat through our inland valleys. Let me show you that here for the South Bay and you can see we're coming in with 91 in Los Gatos. Then you get down to Morgan Hill. We're going to be at a hot 96. Somewhat comfortable there in San Jose, looking at 89. Over to the East Bay, looking all good near the water. 70s to 80s from Oakland down to Fremont. Right back here to the inland valleys, we will be up to a hot 94 in Concord. Uh, through the peninsula, you're going to really have some of the best weather as we head through tomorrow. You get that ocean breeze coming on in. 67 in Daly City, down to Redwood City, will be at 82. And through San Francisco, it's going to be chilly, but that's pretty much normal in June. 50s and 60s across the board and through the North Bay. 88 in Napa, 90 in Sonoma. And you can see as you get away from any bay or ocean breeze, much hotter towards uh, Ukiah and also. So Clear Lake. Now we've been covering, of course, uh, Pride and what's going to be happening this weekend. I wanted to get you a parade forecast. If you're headed out there on Sunday, the parade starts at 1030 in the morning. Make sure to have your jacket. We do expect some fog for the morning. And again, a mix of 50s and 60s as we head through the day still should be an excellent time. As we get you into that seven day forecast, you'll see San Francisco holding steady with 60s as we roll through the next several days. And through the inland valleys, we're going to hang on to 90s at least for the next couple of days. Eventually, we got to wait for it. But by next Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, uh, we will see some cooler 70s and 80s moving back in. So, Audrey, we get over this weekend, and it, it does look cooler for us. Uh, you know, by next week. Yeah, this weekend actually looks fantastic for the Pride yeah. event. So, I'll take it. All right, <laughs> All right Jeff. Thanks.